Cheers. Hello guys and welcome to another episode on me plus you is us. My name is Kwame and I am Elaine. And uh, a month ago, about a month ago, we started this series that um, we're going to be recording or we said we'll try and record every month. Yes. Yeah. So but we're I think, gonna... are we running out of cards? No. <laughs> we're going to play the game. We're not really strangers. It's yeah. a card question game. And they have a pack that is a re relationship expansion pack. Yeah. So you have three levels. So you have level one, perception, level two, connection, and level three, reflection. Right. Yes. So if you haven't seen our first video on that one, you should check it out on the screen somewhere. Yeah, yeah it will pop up on the screen. Okay. But yeah then you come and watch this one, or you watch this one first, then you check that one out. Yeah. That would be preferred. So, play the game rules, we have to look each other in the eyes, or should we do it, should we do it? We should do it, right? For how long? Till somebody blinks. Oh yeah, I forgot. Okay, let's start. I'm gonna win today. You're gonna win today? Mm-hmm. You sure about that though? <laughs> <laughs> Because I don't play. I don't give up. Oh. <laughs> Good. Again, I'm picking. <laughs> Go. Super competitive. Yeah, so level one is perception. So, yeah, I'm picking the first question here. What was the first thing you noticed about me? I noticed... First, that you're being a tough guy with the buzz boys. And secondly, when I asked you why you play this lovey dovey music, then I saw your smile. I was like, hey! So, if I were to rephrase it, what's the first thing you saw about me that you liked? What's your smile? It would be the smile. Because the whole room lit up. Wow. Yeah. It's true. Look at you being all... Mushy. Mm. Okay, get ready. All right. On a scale of 1 to 10, how open do you feel I am with you? Explain. So, you are very analytical. Let me just say on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest... 12. No. <laughs> you're probably, you're probably a 9. Okay. I mean, that 1%, yes, you do have, you know, your own things that you want as a person to yourself, mm -hmm. which is very fine. But you are a very, very open person. Um, you discuss almost everything with me, so I'll give it a 9. Mm. Yeah. And do you like that or you don't like that? I like it. I like it because you, you bring uh, things to me that we're able to talk about and mm -hmm. deal with together. I see you when you do that. Okay. And it's nice for me also to have something to listen to and care about and help you mm -hmm. understand and also, you know, break down. So it's nice. I, I really, really enjoy that. So, yeah, you are. You are and how really. open are you with me? I will give myself a six. <laughs> uh, that's high. That's the, I'm the highest person, right? What? Like, I get the highest score of all the people yes. in the world. Yes. I get a six. That's high. <laughs> yes. Yeah, because I'm more to myself a lot. Yeah. yeah. I think Kwame really, um, he appreciates his solitude. A lot. Yes. And he's very self-sufficient. Yeah. So we had to grow. I'm still learning to yeah. be much more, you know, vocal about the things. So some of the times I think that I process it and then I keep, like, I become okay with it and I feel like, oh, once I'm fine with it, I don't need to share the process. Yeah. But I'm learning to also break things down a little bit more, you know, with her. So, yeah, it's a learning process. Small, small. Level two. Level two. Connection. This is level two. Connection. <laughs> um, how does one earn your trust? Have I earned it? How can I earn more? I think you already earned my trust. I think one thing you really do is you make me a priority. So I am on top of your list every day. That's how you earn my trust. Because you generally care, but not because you want things from me or anything. You generally care about what I want and you want me to be comfortable. 
and I never experienced that before. I, wow. In my previous relationship, <laughs> I wasn't the priority. Hmm. Yes. Say some more. <laughs> <laughs> I think when I so I had I I have a history of long relationships, and I left my. Lo the previous long relationship before I was with you because I wasn't a priority and I didn't know if I would find somebody or find the love that I was looking for yeah I really didn't know I, it was so uh, but I was like this cannot be it I have to figure it out yeah and then you came along and you're doing everything that I I need well wow. yeah. thank you so you're my my gift, my surprise. Am I the one supposed to? No, you, I, you I'm pick. Going yeah. In. He's getting shy, so he wants me to take the next question. <laughs> Do you think? Oh, I good think you one. Should come, you should come in frame a bit. Oh. You're a bit out. Get closer. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Do you? Don't read. No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Do you think my job affects me positively or negatively? How does it affect us? This is very Important. relevant because yeah. I just started a new job and we had a, a, I had a tough time on Friday because I was super tired and I was worried that my job is taking me away too much and that I'm not being present enough. You so this is travel. a good question yeah. because I travel more and there's so many new things coming at me and I feel like I'm not, well, my flaw, I'm not doing enough. That I feel, I don't know if I'm being there enough for him. So we talked about that. So this is a good question. Do you think my job affects me positively or negatively? How does it affect us? And you can be honest. Yeah, so I think your job um, affects you both ways. Mm -hmm. Positively, now with the new role you're in, you absolutely love the new challenge you absolutely love being seen where you are mm -hmm. um, you absolutely love the fact that there's travel and you get to go to other african countries mm -hmm. um, which is really really good so on a positive note yes but for you on a personal note as a as someone who gives her all in all when mm -hmm. she has like a hundred percent of energy to give she gives two thousand to one thing two thousand to the next thing that's that's causing depletion. Yeah. So I think that's one of the negatives that is personal, not the job you need to work on. Because at this point, or mm -hmm. even in your first um, month, February is almost over. Oh, two months. Yeah. Yeah. Two months. Yeah. You, your your job, as far as I know, hasn't given you the amount of pressure I remember you getting from your previous job, where you did a lot. Yeah. So I've learned. So, yeah, but then besides that, you're also not giving yourself enough uh, credit mm. and enough room to acknowledge that you've done enough. Okay. They're not giving you pressure. And how it affects us, I, I'm, I'm going to say that I've always um, wanted you to go for what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And I'm not clinging to the point where I need you here all the time. So it mm -hmm. also helps. Yeah, I miss you. I always miss you when you're mm -hmm. gone and it's, it's not nice, but it's only a week. And yeah. that's where I'm able to distract myself and get more self-sufficient and to get into my project yeah. and everything. So um, it's not affecting us. I don't feel neglected. Yeah. No, I don't feel neglected. Or I don't feel that, oh, you're giving too much to your new job now. You're not away like seven months at a time. No, but I mean or mentally. Or a month. No, no, no. It's you're here. Okay. Yeah. Can I add something? I mean, it's your question, but. Yeah. So I feel that because I am now in this job, I think I allow you more to also take care of things around the house. So yeah. like how you, like, I mean, I'm literally not around. So I will just support you with whatever you need or we will prepare for the week and all these things together. Yeah. But I think you do, you know, how you say, step up to the moment. And when things need to be done, you already arranged it. Like yesterday I came home, uh, 
after my Saturday and then he already cooked. Like I feel like yeah, but I am is... more like allowing you to take care of me also in that sense. Yeah. I think it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. So you're doing well. Me <laughs> still on connection. I'm not reading. <laughs> Read it. Have I helped you change your mind about anything? Oh my god, about so many things. Have I? Brushing my teeth. God. <laughs> how I should hang laundry. I was just thinking about that. What do you mean how you should hang laundry? Because I would always use two uh, knippers. I don't know. Uh, pegs. Pegs for one item. But then he taught me how to make like yeah. one, 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 yeah, one. You so save, it's connect. Yeah, you save pegs. <laughs> so it's really small things. I think um, you're really good in speaking up. Uh -huh. So you're teaching me that it's it's okay to speak up for yourself, stand up for yourself yeah. in a polite but firm way. It's okay to be firm. I think that's something you taught me. Yeah. Um, and you deserve... Yeah, you made me aware of you deserve what the good. I deserve. Yeah, yeah so don't um, diminish your... Don't, don't, you know, lower your light. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't bend or, no, shine. And take space. Yeah, take up space, definitely. And I think, honestly, I think your creativity... Well, is that the question? Well, I'm just going to answer. Uh, your creativity really shows like there are no limits. Yeah. Like if you want to do something, just do it. Like how we're now doing this YouTube channel. You're just like, yeah, let's do it. And I was like, mm, I don't know. <laughs> So if you just want to do it, like I tr tend to overthink things. Okay. So yeah, I think you did just do it uh, mentality, definitely. It's good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how does our age difference or lack thereof affect us, if at all? So I'm 29. I'm Blowing, no, not blowing. <laughs> How do you say? Fl flourishing. Yeah, yeah flourishing. <laughs> and this dinosaur is 34. Uh, I'm 33, to be 34. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. I'm in 33. October, you will be 34. I was a bit. You're in a hurry. Why are you trying to age me? I don't know. Okay, he's 33. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, okay. Oh, sorry. It's your question. Why am I going to answer? Um, age difference. So four years, three years, four years. I don't think it affects us in any way. Mm. No. No. I don't have anything to say about the age difference because your person is who I, I see. I don't see a 29-year-old woman I'm with. I see a very uh, mature mind. Mm, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I see a very mature mind. I'm with a mature-minded person. Yeah, That's so it. the age is not. Really I don't see age. I don't. We don't recognize age here. No. No. So it doesn't. But yeah, maybe in the beginning it did. So when we met, I was. Twenty-two, 22. turning. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Yeah, that was quite young. Did you remember anything from there? But then also, it, I was surprised. I was pleasantly surprised by how you thought of things and how yeah. you broke down things and how you carried yourself. So yeah. that made it me not see the age yeah. in that sense. Yeah. Because so I was 26 and I thought, oh, you know, when you're growing up, you think, ah, you, you, you're you supposed to be with people your age mm -hmm. or maybe older. But no. I, uh, I've always been with older people, so. Oh, I'm an old soul. Dinosaurs. Wait, you asked, you, you uh, asked. Right? No, I asked you, so you can pull. Ah. What's one small way can... Oh. What? <laughs> Read it. Try being proof. What improved. small way can <laughs> we improve... One small way can yeah. we improve our sex life? I mean, what is there to improve? <laughs> oh, come on. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, maybe one small You're thing... I'm not blushing. I'm not. Okay, go on, go on. 
What? I don't mind talking about it, okay. even on TV. Yeah. Um, I think you're more the prude on TV, but anyway. Really? Yeah, I wanted to do a small, a small episode. No, I wanted to do an episode on intimacy, but Kwame was a bit hesitant. <laughs> Not intimacy as in uh, the actual doing sex, but more like... What yeah, we showed intimacy. intimacy. Did you see our vlog? <laughs> okay, a little bit. Back to the question. Did you see, did you see so, uh, Spend a Sunday with us vlog? What's one small way we can improve our sex life? So maybe for me, intimacy is not only the moment when we are about to do it. Humping. <laughs> Hanky panky. For me... <laughs> <laughs> can you not act like a 12-year-old? <laughs> for me... The moment we really need to... Wow, I'm trying to be very mature about this. I'm just like giggly. Okay, no, go on, go on, go on. <laughs> you, are, you already know this. We've talked about this. Yeah. So for me, it's... I cannot just go from zero to a hundred. So I cannot do five minutes before we're going to do it. Then suddenly I'm in the mood. So for me, it's like... It's way before. Throughout the day, like we hug, like we have fun together. We hang out, we're close. Um, you know, you grab my ass, like these kind of small, small things that make me feel like you see me, and you find me. me attractive, you want me, and then if it happens, it will happen, you know? <laughs> and I think you are more like, you just have like this, it can come from nowhere. <laughs> you know, so like, like we didn't even like really, we, we weren't really together or where is this coming from? And when I ask where this is coming from, you never know the answer. I it's never know because there. sometimes I just see you and I think, oh my God. Like sometimes you just walk past and I'm just like, oh, that's, that's snack right there. <laughs> so I don't have to, like yeah. for me, I don't have to have spend the whole day with you. Yes, I do. I do get this. You know, No, like it's not the uh, whole day, but it's more yeah, like I mean, small more moments like, yeah, small building moments, up to it. Which I agree because that it happens in the mind before yeah. the bedroom. Very much yeah. agree with that. But yes, and I, we're, we're going to work on that or we're, yeah, we're going to do that. But I'm just saying that my version of sometimes I just see you walk by and I'm like, oh yeah, okay. Yeah. That's it. Like, yeah. Yeah. I am. I'm still surprised by that. Why? Like that. You're Sometimes you just pass and like just normal, just being yourself, and I'm just like, yeah. I want to tap that right now. <laughs> we should put like a sensor thing for no. kids. No, <laughs> it's not for kids. That's what I select. Okay, I think it's me. Okay, so you're doing the last one. Last question. Level three. Reflection. What about our relationship? Don't worry about that. Let's go. Again, the food. What about our relationship are you proudest of? Oh, I think I would say our ability to work through things. Okay. The communication, the, the need to want to work. Or, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what I'm most proudest of. Why is that? Because it's what's keeping us going. It's mm -hmm. what's... It, it's, the other things are beautiful. They are nice. They are quote-unquote, easy, mm -hmm. but... What do you mean with that? I, no, what uh, other things? As in cooking together, watching TV, ah. traveling, the niceties, sex. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. But the real grit is being able to go through challenges together. Yeah. Acknowledging, yeah. communicating, strategizing, yeah. and then implementing. Like, doing those things together. It's yeah. like, you know, the teamwork. Yeah. When the work needs to be done is what I'm proudest of. Like, we, we, we do the work when we have to do the work. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm most proudest of. Yeah, and I think also we've grown in that because I think in the beginning we used to have fights that would really blow up, you yeah. know, because you don't understand each other well. Yeah. But now it's really rare. And most of the times we are able to solve it pretty quickly. Like, normally we would take distance, like I would take maybe a day or two and, you know, we yeah, crack. Coming but back now, to it is difficult. Yeah, and, yeah. and we know what to do and what works, what doesn't work. I think, can I also answer? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the proudest thing I, or the thing I'm most proud of is outside of being like romantically involved, I'm very happy that we also have a friendship. That we are, you are my best friend. 
to and I know it's such a cliche <laughs> but I'm also really happy I didn't know that existed like or maybe I knew it existed but you cannot really you cannot force that right yeah so I'm really happy because then I can't, sometimes something happens to me and I'm like, I really want to tell him. But not because <laughs> you are, I mean, I'm in love with you, but not because only that. Like, it's just like, you just want to tell your friend. I know you will, you know, will really enjoy we'll it. Same yeah. with like, um, for work, um, I had to travel and I went to a really nice restaurant, but I, I was with my colleague. So, and I just knew that if he were there, we would have a, had a blast, you yeah. know, like a really nice evening, laugh. Like, oh, this is so much fun. Fun, fun, fun. And <laughs> <laughs> these kind of things. So even if I'm away, it's like, oh, I, I want to share this with you. Like that kind of eagerness to, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. And it's it's also work. So we're doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that's it for the second episode of We Are Not Really Strangers. We're not. Yeah. Let us know if you have a burning question for us that wasn't in the pack this time. We'll do another Yeah, we one. asked, we, we yeah. I hate this word. The last time we asked, we asked, we asked <laughs> the last time that you also let us know in yeah. the comment section some of the things that you want us to know so that we will probably do, uh, we're not really strangers as in yeah, a viewer option. Yeah, like a request. Version, yeah, a viewer version. So please ask us questions in the comment. Yeah. below who we'll answer those questions you know or if you want to share or answer one of the questions that we ask answer today you can also do that in the comments um so like and subscribe and share share if you like what you see this is me plus you is us thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one Dag lieve mensen hey hey